In this video, I'm going to show you how you can integrate Calendly into your VoiceFlow project using a method that is completely free. Using this technique, you can avoid unnecessary integrations into your project and also avoid overhead costs. Let's see this in action. Here is a chatbot that schedules appointments for a hairdressing salon. Let's book an appointment with it. So today, I want to go for a haircut. Cool. Um, yes, I would like to book an appointment for my haircut. So now, as you can see, I've got this big window popped in, and you can see that the Calendly uh, calendar has been embedded within the VoiceFlow chatbot. So now I can use this just like you would use this on uh, if this was to be embedded on a website or as a pop-up. So I can select the dates or the month that I want. I'm going to select um, Thursday. I've got a slot open in my calendar at 11 a.m. So let's go with that. Put my name in. I'm going to put my email address and hit schedule. I'm going to quickly hop into my emails just to show you that the event actually has come through uh, when we use the chatbot to make the booking. As you can see here, I've got the invite from Calendly by Sam's Hair Salon. As you can see, it's got my name and it's got my email address and it's got that um, it's got the event booked here. Let's hop into VoiceFlow to see how this flow works and how to actually embed Calendly into your VoiceFlow chatbot. So here you can see we've got a fairly uh, straightforward flow uh, where the chatbot first greets the user and asks what um, treatment they would like, um, regardless of the treatment that you select for the sake of this example. It goes to next statement where it just says, you know, we can help you out with that uh, particular treatment. And then it asks the user to book an appointment. Once we hit yes, it then goes to this Calendly URL block. So here we've just run a simple JavaScript code. And here we've actually grabbed a URL for our Calendly booking. So I'm going to quickly hop into Calendly to show you how to actually do that. Here in your Calendly page, once you've logged into your account, you'll see your event type here. So here I've got Sam's Hair Salon, which is the 30 minute um, session. So if you were to hit copy link, that would copy uh, your meeting link, and then you have to go back into VoiceFlow. Once you go back into VoiceFlow, you paste this link here. This is us saving uh, our meeting link to this URL variable. Then to actually embed calendar itself, we're going to have to use a text block, and we're going to create an iframe. So this is the code that you can create for the iframe. And then in the source variable, you have to assign the URL that we just saved in the previous step. I just wanted to make a call out just because you see, you might see an error like this once you insert your iframe. However, if you hit run and actually test the chatbot, you can see that it will be loading the, uh, loading the calendar properly and uh, you'll be able to book your appointments through here. So I'm just gonna quickly do a demo of this. Yes, I want to book an appointment. And now this is where it would load the calendar within the chatbot. As you can see, you can use this to, yet again, book the appointments. I'm not going to do one right now. You get the idea. And just with those steps, your chatbot is ready to book meetings in no time. If you like this tutorial, feel free to drop a like on this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have a specific idea in mind for a video that you'd like to see, feel free to drop that in the comments below. If you'd like to talk to us about a build that you have in mind, use the link in the description below or feel free to directly reach out using our details provided. Thank you and we'll see you in the next video.